Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, I have been busy between episodes. Basically I'm trying to wait for these ender pearls and they're very slow. Now, one of the things I've done is I've prepared all this stuff in here so we can actually say we can make the laser quarry, uh, the, laser, the laser plus. So let's let that do that while we're doing this. You'll see why in a minute. <coughs> Yeah, this has gone off as usual, so let me just turn that back on again because I restarted the game. And this is going to start producing. We've got two ender pearls, we need four, so we've got one and a half to go, let's say. That's what's such a. That's one of. But there is actually a new addition to the game. There's a casual mode or a server mode where the, the things actually go five times faster. So that'll be a lot better for us if I actually do implement that. Now, next thing is. What do I want to do? Ah yes, I need the RSS stop mission station. What's it up? Oh, is the RF submission station? Yes, that one. Because I was downstairs charging up the capacitor, um, making sure that everything got enough carbon in between episodes, and I checked on this one over here, and it's got 5.8 billion in there, which is more than enough to do what we need. I think all I have to do now is to connect this to this, like that, and say, click it, and wait. And over a short period of time, I think, we've now getting this is going out fairly fast, like this. And all I did here was to actually take the sterling generator and stick it on the side of this, like this, and set that to a push mode. So it's pulling and pushing, so it works very quite quickly actually, faster than the cables I think. So it's already done two. 260 million, so we wait for that to do that stuff. And while that's doing that, let's go upstairs again. And see how we're getting on with this laser. Nearly done, I'm gonna wait for it. Well actually, I probably ought to do this as well, because it's um, one of these devices that throws things out of the top. Have I got a chest around? Yes, I have got a chest. I remember making one, didn't I? There we go. Let's put this chest. Ah, you see, I've already got it in my hand. It threw it out, and I've caught it with the. Um, I've, put, I've put the chest in here anyway, because it's not the only thing we're going to make with this machine. I can tell you. I didn't get to pick up the chest, did I? There it is. Now, can I reach this block? Yes, I can. Good. So you can open the chest. So now, with this laser plus, there is a quest for this. So what I've done is basically preempted that quest because it, it will make this thing go a lot faster. So let's just put this one down, say here, like that. So it's 200, it's 240 RF per tick. Now, let's have a look at this. So it's 440, so it's almost doubled with that one laser plus. But don't worry, there's improvements on that laser plus, which we're going to come to fairly soon, I hope. And that'll actually make it go up to 5,000 RF per tick, something like that. So let's go and have a look what I've been doing outside. I've basically moved, flattened this all off a bit here, and moved it down one layer. Um, and I've been basically all I've been doing is mining and look, and uh, farming. So I've just been collecting these things for the only free, which I don't think there are. Is that one, do you know, 86%. So anything like this, I've just been collecting them up between episodes like this. I'm putting those away and mining at the same time, changing my oxygen, and that's it. In fact, what we do need is some more, very important, we need some more uh, rotting flesh and we need some more, um, what else do we need? Rotting flesh and string, because we're actually stuck on that. Now the best way to get rotting flesh and string is by, uh, well at the moment it's by mob grinding I think. So what we're going to do is to prepare an area, so I won't do this yet, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oh, maybe I will do it actually, I'm not sure. So what I've been doing is simply this. I've been taking my, my hammer here and going along like this. Between the two episodes. It's fairly quick when it doesn't have rock to hit, but dirt and turf. 
rock goes a bit slower but we could speed this up I said before because it's a tinker's construct device now there are some holes down here so I've got to be careful I think the holes are about here there we go actually there don't seem to be any moths down there what we'll just do is we'll just fill it in a bit looks like basically like this one if I miss, didn't miss it yeah. so we can do that one as well like that and then we can carry on so that's all I've been doing so actually what I'm doing now is I'm waiting for the submission station but that won't take too long actually we'll just carry on down here and, just and the idea is then it's got to have better it's got a better shooting range for those turrets so that if there are any mobs down they're not being hidden by other blocks like this and I'll just go around like this just flatten it off a bit Like that. So these turrets have a better shooting range. So let's go down and see now how long, how well we're doing with this stuff. So what I've been doing also, I've been putting the moon dirt into here, like that, and I've been taking the moon turf and the moon rock and been putting it into this ender chest here. Because at the moment the quarry is not working because I've used the um, sterling generator for the this down here. So let's have a look how we're doing with this. You got to think that it sort of indicates its progress. So it's almost half done. Let's go and have a look at the ender pearls. Still got two. But you see now it's going up it's going up twice as fast anyway so it won't be too bad now to actually wait for these ender pearls that's actually once that gets done it's the, one of the first of the big steps we can and these lasers aren't wasted we can recycle these lasers by decomposing them and we'll get the diamonds back again i think it was two diamonds per each one there is another way to get um ender pearls and that's like this in fact let's do it Let's take them out of here. We need what two ender pearls. I'll take one. If I break this away like that, go down and decompose this elevator block. So if you look at the uses of this one, let's look at decomposing it. We get einsteinium and calcium, which is an ender pearl, plus anything between this is wool, anything between two and I think fourteen or seven. 207 then um, wool back again so let's do it take the risk hope we get lots of wool Ooh, we're not too bad actually we got 12 that time so now we can come along here clear off the signal recipe because I was making some signal on. put the Einstein here put it inside and then go around the outside here like that and we get an oh I need to pull that enough go and get the ender pearl and also we can do the wool as well I think I'm not sure what the must be one and two, mustn't it? I'm just going to guess. Probably completely wrong. I oh, know. So we get a six wall. So we just lo we've just lost two. You see that Einstein wasn't there. So now we've got our end of pearl. And actually, that was a good tick by well, sounding five or sixty-four, and the Discord link. So we've now got three of the four end of pearls. I could do another of these blocks actually. But I think I'd prefer to wait. Because with this six wool, we can do something else. We can actually make some more cables. Let's go and do that actually, because I need power cables. So aluminium, what have we got for aluminium? All right, we've got enough aluminium. And oh, let's just take this round here and make some more cables. Let's get six more cables. Actually got four more wool. 
like that. Very close. And actually, I think we get back quite a reasonable amount. So what I'm going to do is, when this is completed, we basically get some mob grinding stuff. So here is a good power supply. Actually, it's going to be underneath this one here, I think. So if I use this as a center here, and I start to bring this cable down like this, this is going to get connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a so I think we're going to get two ender chests. Now ender chests have a range of nine. So we need basically nine. So that's going to be the end here. So that's going to be the same position ten. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think this is going to be the other end of it. Here like this. I'm not completely I'm not completely sure. What I'm going to do to find check it out is we're going to go up. And we're going to make an RR pickaxe as well, because that's fairly cheap and I think is available. So let's have a look at that. Yep, yeah, and it's available, I think. So what do we need for that? One diamond uh, pickaxe, which isn't going to be too bad. Two torches. Flint, redstone blocks and TNT. Let's make see if we can make TNT as well. Yep, yeah, we've got TNT. Uh, flint, we will probably need to grind up some gravel. Let's have a look at what the uses of gravel are. I think if we put that through the, the pulverizer, uh, that's not going to give it to me. Slag mill will do, and I can decompose it to silicon dioxide. Actually, that might be a good way of doing it. So we'll do it that way instead. So we need is some redstone. I also made some more redstone while I was busy waiting for things. Two blocks of redstone. Diamond pickaxe. Let's get that made. I'm sure I can do that. Getting an achievement. Getting an upgrade. <laughs> so all we need now is three flint. Let's go make three flint. I'm sure I can simply mine cap those up. How much have we got in there? Oh, 570 would be more than enough. So let's have a look what we need for flint. Probably be something like four. Let's do it that way. Wait. Let's space for that. Oh, there we go. So it's 16 in that pattern. So we need a stack of that, which is what we've got. I think now we need 48. Like that, and that'll give us four. I'll take four. I'll actually put the four into the mine kin book as well. Like that. Now we've got enough everything we need to make this RR pickaxe. And the advantage with the RR pickaxe, we can do a five by five. It's what I actually want to achieve. Like that. Let's go down. So, what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to dig out a bit. But in fact, what I think I'll do is I'll do it that way. So let's take the RR pickaxe, set this to a 5x5 five five mode, shift right click, twice, so it'll be here. Oop! Well that gave me a bit of a shock, I can tell you that for nothing. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed that is. <laughs> can I get this other spider? He got shot very quickly anyway so that's good. And you'll see there's actually quite a big cave cavern underneath. Let's see if we can get this big spider out of the way here. Oops, I'm getting attacked. Yep, and we got a piece of string. That was probably a little bit more exciting than I actually wanted it to be. But never mind. So then we got these caverns underneath here, as I said before. So we can actually make this open here. So what I'm going to do when this is completed, and it's completed, we can actually done that. So we now can claim the reward for this. So I'm going to check I've got enough space, which I have. And the reward for this one, let's go to the quest book. By the way, I'm pressing, if you want to know how I'm doing that, what I'm doing here is I'm pressing the uh, graph key, which is in fact on my keyboard, so 
the top right hand side. So now we've finished Moon Trance, we can detect, submit, and claim our rewards. Done. So this whole quest line is now complete, which is fantastic, and it's opened up this one here. Replicator online detect submit. Oh, it should have done. Checkbox test. You did it. You reconstructed the replication chamber, providing energy. Now we can start making things out of more energy. Well, to be honest, much more energy. Have I got an item? Why can't I claim this? I'm sure that's all I had to do. There's nothing else to be done. And I'm sure it's this checkbox. Oh, try now. Can I detect? Claim. So I had to click that in order to do that. So I now have another reservoir. So what we're going to do down here is we're going to we'll probably light up the area as well. But what I'm going to do first, as you see, you get all these bits and pieces here like this. Now I reckon if I put this down around about, look, if I put this on here, one of these turrets on here like this. We've got four turrets. So if I put it down here like, I think I can do it like that. Yes, I can, good. And then underneath this or on the, on the side of it, we can actually put these upgrades in there. So we've got a, a turret add-on which visually conceals a turret. I think that's for mobs basically. And then we've got some fire rate upgrades which we can put on too. And we can also put some turrets onto here like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one turret on this side like that. Oops, missed. Try again. Uh, um, can I do that? No, oh, I need me a pickaxe. I don't want to use that one. It'll make too much of a mess. Let's just pick the ordinary one, which is actually nearly broken, but doesn't matter. Oops, and I just hit the two things up very quickly. Try again. That was really not too good, was it? Try again. Put some turrets on here like this. And... Let's put the... Speed upgrades in the concealer, and it should start to get power, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh huh. Maybe you have to do it this way. I'm surprised about that. I thought it would have worked out of this thing. I maybe have to turn this to be an output configuration. Still not getting any power. We need to increase the Y as well. Why are we not getting any power in this? Hmm. Is it because all the power is going into the pylon? See, those are going in and out very fast. I'm just wondering. Let me just break that again. See, that's going up now. Let's just take this down and see if I can do it at the side. I'm sure this is how I did it before, so... Without it connecting like that. Still got no power in it. So what's going on here? Is all the power going into this? Probably is all the power going into this, huh? Oh, it's going up, so let's let it leave that and see if that then comes down into here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a vacuum chest like this. And I want the vacuum chest to pick up stuff. So it needs it's got a range of nine, didn't I say? So let's just put some blocks down here. What should we use? Let's use some moon rock. Was it safe for me to go down? Oh, it's only two blocks, there's no problem. So I reckon it's all, yes, it's got the gun on there. It's still got no power in it. Five, and I think that is the position of the, of the chest. Let's have a look, see if this works. Let's put one of those down, say here, like that, and then drop something here. I'm gonna drop some dirt, uh, I'll keep the end of the puzzle out of the way. Like this, and I'm going to just drop one of those onto this block here. Oh, I need to turn my magnet off, of course. Very important. 
see that's going there now if I throw it down here for look one two three four five so if I throw it onto this block here that's getting picked up let me just take this down one here you also get a speed boost from the RF pickaxe so if I come now here and there's a zombie who wants to come up and get shot I think that's okay that's okay How far does that thing pull in? Let's try. Let's just try it from here. Oh, maybe it's nine in each direction. That's not working. So here's the point. So that's the range of that vacuum chest. How fast that? So one, I can't really go over here a bit. One, two, three, four, five is this whole six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I've got it too near to where I want this turret to be. So that's the ninth position. So let's go. So that's in position six, seven, eight, nine here. So I'm going to put the yeah, I'll put the other one down here. And we can then lift up that one there like this. Not very picked up quite easily. I've probably got some endo IO thing. So I'm hoping that when I drop something down here, it gets picked up. It does, and if I drop it down here, it doesn't get picked up. It does. Okay, great. Right, I'm one block. Too short. So this is what you have to do. There's a creeper. Hello, creeper. You're not going to get me because I have got some protection. The lucky the lucky chest will have come into here, of course, <laughs> as usual. Like that. Let's just pick up this one. That's all gone into there as well. And we've got an elevator. Oh. Right, let's try that again. Because this is the, p the point I want things to be picked up from. Uh. Yep, that's being picked up from there. And that after that is here. And I don't want it to be picked up. Great. So that's that side done. Let's go back now. I think I've pushed it back four, so let's just see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's the last block there. So we drop anything down here. It gets picked up. Let's, put, let's take this out. So this is the size of the chamber I'm going to use for this side of it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side because this is around about the middle, as you can see. So I'm going to dig down, and I probably won't do that. I'll probably do that in my own time. There's no point in doing this on camera, particularly. I think, but I want this to be sure that this is actually working, and it's still got no power in it. Hmm. Why? Sterling generator is empty and the Galacticraft wire is not giving me any power. Let's have a look. I can now remove this of course. So that's the next su uh, submission task. So let's remove this. It gets picked up by the, the, the vacuum hopper which is good. And in the other vacuum copper of course I've got all the other stuff. Let's just put this down and get the stuff out of here. So I've got all two pieces of moon rock. Because in dry I can shift right click it with a crescent hammer. So what's bothering me is this has got plenty of power. And this is coming from here. Ah I've been I probably have been actually 
I think I've connected it to the wrong thing, so let's just connect it to the right thing up here. Large turret, still low power. Don't ask me. Why has this got no power? Because that must be connected to this thing here, mustn't it? I'm not, it's not as I'm using the wrong type of cables. Maybe, maybe they don't work on that one. Let's go and see if I've got some, some conduit upstairs. Ah yes, that's where that elevator block came from. Wrong place. And while I'm here, I'm going to change my oxygen tank. We're going to put the other turret stuff away here because I don't need you for the time being. Oh, we've got the loot, our loot chest which we haven't opened. Well, we, I haven't opened. What have I got? An ME 64K ME storage. That's an absolutely fantastic reward actually because we're full up on our ME uh, fluid. We've got no more capacity for any other fluids because we've got basically here we've got five and five and now we've got no more so we can actually start to put other fluids into this system which is great i've also got here a full up drive but that's okay don't care about that so much and we've got a second reservoir let's put this reservoir down here and what else do we need to do let's go and check our ender pearls we've got another one that means we've got our four. Let's go and claim that quest. That's done. Actually, now these have actually opened up. Last time I looked at these, but there was no... Actually, nothing there was done. None of these had anything... None of these had anything on them, actually. New quest. Yeah, they're not complete. These aren't yet completed. But improvements, let's have a look diamonds and pearls so we we can now detect this and we now get our four ender pearls and two books back done so that's now opened up this transferring it to a machine but we actually got to make a fortune one book now that's exactly the same as the fortune three book let's have a look at what that was i think it was three ender pearls which was our stopping point last time and one book is that in the right order? If you're getting two books from this, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Hmm. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to put this piece of. I'm going to put this one back on here, actually. I've got the. this elevator. I don't mind it going down, but I don't like to have a hole in the ceiling. So, right. Um. So let's have a look at the fortune book. I think I haven't got enough stuff because I think the problem is rotting of flesh. We've got six. We need ten. So we'll take those six out of there. In fact, I'm going to make a quick note of what we actually have to do here. Let's have a look. So we need actually a fortune book, don't we? Let's try enchanted. And the recipe's gone again, as it sometimes does. To, to fix that, I'm going to have to exit and start the game again. I think that's the one. I can try an empty reload, but... Let's have a look now. No, wrong one. Let's press escape. Let's press E. There's definitely no enchanted book in there, is there? I might leave that till next time, partly because it's nearly half an hour's gameplay so far. Actually, that's the main reason. So I can't do the recipe. It's exactly the same recipe as the previous one, and I've forgotten what it is. Should have written it down, shouldn't I? Well, it, ender pearls, three ender pearls. 
what else did we need for this it was 10 shiny it was 10 shiny blocks wasn't it let's see if we can get those prepared so we need shiny metal this one oh yeah something's getting shot out which is good might be outside actually so that's good let's get the shiny metal into here that's turned off good because what I'm looking for are these 10 yeah and they're zombies so what I'll do now is I'll go and have a quick sleep and see if we can get the bits and pieces that we need Because rotting flesh isn't generally a problem. You normally get about. Um, let's to be on the safe side. Let's go through the penicillin. Yeah, we've got lots of rotting flesh down here. Uh, lots of rotting flesh. Got that fantastic. I need to turn my magnet on. These guys will be fairly weak now. Yep. Because they're all slowly dying. Pick up the other bits and pieces as we go over here. Got 24. That's fantastic. Look at that. You wish for something and it suddenly happens. more of that hiding away yep a little bit of XP we'll drop that off put the arrows up there we don't need the arrows actually so what did we have for shining uh, shiny blocks in here four so we needed six didn't we so let's have a look see how we're doing with shiny Probably got more than enough, I would suspect. Put them, put the bucket back again. Be systematic. Eight, good. So that'll actually give us. We'll have another four in here, so that'll be nine. Let's go and push these through here like that. Because we definitely need the right type. We've got thirteen. So let's have a look. What can we do? So ten of those, three ender pearls, ten rotting flesh. Was it? I think it might have been blaze rods. It was three of those. remember what the last thing is let's try some gold I don't think it was glowstone nope not gold Alright, well, I've done 33 minutes, so I think that's probably long enough for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it, and then between episodes now I'm going to extend those caves out a bit, which is just my basic mining, so it's probably not so interesting to see. So until next time, bye for now.